On this interview, I'd like to apologise for the quality of the uh, recording. Uh, we had internet problems. Um, Nicola is in uh, Croatia, and I think his internet, his side, was uh, a bit iffy. Um, also, feedback problems as well. Um, it doesn't detract at all from his stories, um, and when he talks, he's really quite clear and concise and very genuine in his accounts, and um, I hope you enjoy this regardless. Thank you. Hi. And welcome to Dogman TV Dogman Hunting TV. on YouTube. And uh, if you're listening on the uh, Interdimensional Voyagers podcast, um, I've got Nicola, uh, Nicola from uh, Croatia, and he's an experiencer um, of UFOs or UAPs, um, and also a very interesting, very interesting story he has an experience with. Uh, what we call dogmen. Dog um, as I say, he's uh, in Croatia. Uh, the signal we'll have to forgive because I think either uh, his side or my side, the signal's not that great. Great. Um, so, uh, okay. And Nicola, how are you? Very good, thank you. Good, good. good. How is it? Is it hot over there? Very hot, yes, yes. Heat wave. Oh. How hot is it over there? 37 Celsius. Damn. Damn. Yeah. How do you work in that? Do you work? How do you go to work? In that? I am lucky. I stay at home during the day because I, I rent rooms. I clean rooms and wait for tourists. And okay. in, in the evening, I go feed uh, the horses. I ca take care of two horses. But they are not mine. They are from a friend. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But that, uh, Okay, right. It makes you wonder how, because you used to be a truck driver, didn't you? But only for a month. I, okay. I drove uh, the concrete mixer. Oh, okay. All right, then. Truck yeah. experience. Yeah, I bet you get a lot of vehicles overheating in that in that heat, don't you? But, uh, I don't know, but it was not so... Uh, it was not so... I, I, I drove the truck in 2016. Oh, okay. Okay. So hot then. Okay. Yeah. I've never, I, I, I've never known weather across the world be so odd as it has been at the moment. Weather everywhere seems so strange. Yeah, it's crazy weather. Yes. Oh, very, very odd. Okay. Um. Would you now take as long as you want? Um. The, the key the, here the, is detail. detail. If you can remember the detail, detail. that's the key. That's the key. Mm -hmm. So take all the time you need. And let's start at, um, you were talking, first of all, about, you don't know an awful lot, I, I, I guess, about the fishermen's. But can you just go can over just that story go, about the fishermen's story? Yeah, but I don't have detail or, or information because it's, one time I heard from uh, two fishermen when they were at sea at night, they saw strange lights in the sky. And that, that's basically all I know. Okay. Do you know what okay. lake you're from? Adriatic Sea. On the Adriatic Sea? Yeah, but uh, later on, uh, after I heard that story, I heard... Uh, I was watching a show about the paranormal and UFOs, and I heard the information that the Adriatic Sea is uh, some some kind of corridor for for UFOs. Mm. I don't mm. know if, if it's true or not. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, it is. I think I've, it heard, is. I've, 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 I've heard this as well. The Adriatic. Maybe yeah. because the Adriatic goes uh, deep in the continent. Maybe because of that. Mm. Also might be that um it could be uh isn't there any adriatic sea uh beneath the ocean uh, there's some um, uh, anomalies you know like uh, structures under the ocean mm, this i don't know i really don't know i'm gonna have a look at this okay um okay so with with uh, where do, where would you where would you like to start from the point of view of your experiences? Uh, what was the, what I think was the first one you had. 
The first one, yes. I, I think it's best go chrono chronologically. Okay. 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 Let's 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 let's, let's start with the first one then. Nicola. Okay. Uh, the the first experience, but uh, I have to tell you that I I uh, forgot about my experiences for a long long time. Mm -hmm. And from my from what I uh, learned, it's not so rare that people forget. Mm. And then uh, some people remember, some people don't remember. Uh, mm. Never. That's true. That's true. Sometimes you find also in um, cases of where people feel dressed by what they've seen or if they've been abducted, they, they, they impede on their memory. Yes, I heard of that. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So it could, it might be. Let's, let's, let's start with the first story and then we can. Uh, uh recap over it you know take okay. it in sections like that yeah okay uh, this happened when i was uh, four years old and we went on a family weekend somewhere in austria i don't know where i think it was uh, in tirol somewhere okay and we went uh, we we stayed in a village in a in a private house surrounded by mountains and, and forest. And it was uh, me, I was four years old, my brother, it's almost two years old, older than me, and my parents. And me and my brother had a separate room. And that evening, bef before the experience with uh, the dogman or werewolf, I saw something else in the window the same window. I was alone in the room. I was playing. I don't know what I was doing. And suddenly I, I felt uh, like a pressure, like the air was uh, becoming more dense. And I heard uh, a strange hissing sound, like uh, <sighs> something like that. And in the window, I saw a silhouette of a profile. Mm. But uh, it, it had uh, human features, a nose and chin, but it didn't look, look, look uh, very human. It looked more like demon, something like that. And I got very, very scared and I turned around uh, because I didn't want to look at that. And I, I couldn't move. Uh, I, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't, I couldn't call, call for help. I was terrified. And uh, after a minute or two, I don't know for how long, but not very long, uh, I felt the pressure go away. And then I turned over my shoulder and it was gone, this demonic entity. And then I called for help, my, my parents and my brother. And my parents didn't believe me, but my brother did. And uh, okay, th so this is it with the demonic thing. And uh, the same night, we went to sleep and uh, knocking on the window. Uh, okay. Woke me up. Uh, mm. Our beds in the in the room were positioned uh, so we okay. could see the window from from our bed. To open because of, of the previous experience because I was afraid so a little bit of light was coming in the room mm -hmm. and uh, a sharp knock a uh, sharp sound mm -hmm. and I, I got up and went to see but I was like in a, a, in a trance and I remember I think I was thinking that this must be my my father playing a prank on us. Hmm. So I got up and went around the corner, and there it was in the window. Hmm. And uh, I remember that it was big and hairy. I thought that the ears were horns, but then it. Uh, 
it leaned in and I could see more I could see better and uh, I remember the ears moving uh, maybe this is because I, I spoke to the to this entity I was four years old I, I don't know what I was thinking and the first thing uh, I said to, to the dogman you are not my dad and I said to it I, I can't come outside because it's too cold and I would get sick. And then I asked it, asked it please to stop knocking on the window and mm. uh, went back to bed and the knocking stopped. And I remember it was uh, big and scary. It, it had uh, broad shoulders and uh, pointy ears. They were moving, dog nose, uh, sharp teeth and uh, yellowish eyes bright yellow and uh, to me it looked like it, it was smiling I know it sounds crazy but it looked like that it was showing his it, its teeth but it was not growling or or, or, or grunting on, or something like that so uh, I went back to my bed the knocking stopped and I went back to and the next day I told my father and my brother and we went outside to see and sure enough in the snow we found a big dog print and another smaller print that looked like uh, uh, from donkey this was maybe the first entity and uh, so my brother came with us came up with a story that maybe a big dog wanted to come inside because it was cold and uh, this is my first experience okay okay so so uh first of all you you saw at the window you were with your brother in the bedroom okay. right mm -hmm. Then what? You were with your bed, your brother in the bedroom. Yeah. Please, please repeat the question. Were you you were in the, in the bedroom with your brother? Yeah, yeah, he was in the bedroom too. Okay. Did he see the same thing? Yeah. Yes. Okay. The first entity. Can you? No, because he didn't want to get up. Up. Out okay. From bed okay can you describe again the first entity that you saw the one with horns try and describe it again for me uh no i i didn't say it had horns the first entity oh, okay. Uh, okay i thought the ears of the dogmans were, were horns but the first okay. entity it was, yeah it okay. was profile only the profile and the silhouette i didn't see details okay. but i saw but they were they were bigger than humans this nose and chin it, it looked like a demon it looked like demon so it wasn't it definitely didn't look like the second entity the dog man entity it had it more of a like human it, face like Did it have more of a human yeah. human face? Had nose and yeah. chin, for sure. Okay. And second um, one. Okay. Second, yeah, more of the same features. Yes, not what, uh, No. Okay, but what? What? First of all, how high up were you? Were you on the ground floor or were you on the first floor? Did you have to go upstairs to bed? We were on the, the bed? we were on the ground floor. On the ground floor, okay. And on the, the first ground floor, yeah, okay. And the first, yeah. the, the lines, the lines quite bad. So if I if I come across if I come across yeah. as um okay. repeating myself, I apologize. The, 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 Uh -huh. you know. uh -huh. Okay. 
Um, so the first entity, describe it again, what you saw in profile, please. Mm, I saw a nose and a chin, but uh, this is it. I, I can uh, I can't tell you details because I it was only silhouette. It was, uh, mm. but it was. Did it? It was not human. It was something demonic. Is that, is that because it gave you a feeling of being demonic, or it looked demonic? Uh, both. It it looked like uh, something evil, and it felt like something evil. Both both things. Okay. If you if you have you in films or on TV seen anything that looks remotely like it, the first entity on TV? Does it look like anything you've seen since on TV or films? There is uh, in uh, German. I think it looked uh, something like that. N Nosferatu. That film no. Nosferatu. Do you know about the Krampus? The Krampus, yes. No, Nosferatu is something. Else. Yeah, Nosferatu. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's more vampire, Nosferatu. So it looked like Krampus. Yeah. I'm just going to have a look at it now. Yeah, vampire with, with the teeth. Uh, it's something like Krampus to me. It, 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 it it's okay. Okay, I'm just having a look now, see what Krampus looks like. Um, I shall put it up on the screen when this... Uh, I shall put it up on the screen, what Krampus mm -hmm. looks like mm -hmm. as well. Um, oh, okay. Well, Krampus has horns. Krampus has horns. I didn't see them. That's that's oh. maybe that's why I was thinking that the dogman's ears was were horns, but when they yeah. were moving, and and it had the dog uh, nose. Mm. Krampus is uh, more like they a. Were, a they ghoul. were different. A, they were not the yes. same entity. Yes, Krampus looks more like a. Uh, it does look like a ghoul, ghoul, like a ghoul, like a dead ghoul goat thing yes yes uh, yes yeah it, it's ugly ugly yeah, yeah. ugly thing okay yes. okay yes. then yes. and yes. the tapping the tapping you heard at the window um you well, did it sound like it was nails claws on the window or was it that kind of sound was <laughs> that like a nail, yes, like a nail. Tick, 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 like, like a sharp a... sound, not tup, 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 like hand. Okay. It was like a claw. Okay. Or if you take uh, a nail and, and. Okay, Nicola, how long afterwards before then you saw the dog man at the window? Uh, I can't tell you that because I, I I went to sleep and okay. uh, some sometime in the night. Good, like, and it was interesting. It was interesting. It was interesting that you said that um, uh, in the morning you saw a footprint and then a hoof print. It's interesting. Okay. Now, 
the dog man that you saw, um, can you describe him again? Because the internet was really glitchy and we didn't quite get it all, what you were describing. Mm -hmm. Do you mind, Nicola? Yes. He was uh, big, hairy, and broad shoulders, pointy ears. Uh, the ears were moving, and uh, dog nose, like uh, wolf or, or dog snout or nose, sharp teeth. He was uh, he or she was it was showing his teeth, teeth, but uh, not growling. And uh, yellow eyes, and th that's that's all I can remember because uh, I can give you I can give you more uh, details because it was it was dark and it mm. was so long yeah. long ago. Yeah, sure. No, I get it. I get it. Okay. Did, did at the time did you uh, were you scared by it or were you um uh were you more scared of the um Krampus or were you more scared of the dogman? So it was a hell of a shock. Two things, thing. one night. Two things and one night. A hell of a shock. I was. Yeah, uh, I I have a little theory of of mine about uh, this. Uh, I I was very scared of the Krampus, but. Uh, these entities are attracted by negative energy, I believe. And uh, unfortunately, I was uh, abused in my childhood. Uh, I grew up in a narcissistic uh, family. Maybe the negative energy attracted the, this entity. And uh, I... I think this is my personal opinion, because with the dogmen, uh, I spoke to it, and uh, as it sounds, and I didn't feel fear. I felt uh, shock, but no fear. And uh, I don't know why I thought if he communicated something to me. Strange that I told to it. I that this dogman was there to protect me from the demonic entity or purpose because I believe that the dogmen are protectors and guardians not all of them there are some evil ones for sure but uh, I believe that they are protectors okay mm. Okay, yeah. Look, we um we lost you a little bit on that, but um uh we we got the general gist that you weren't afraid of the dog and the Krampus you were, but not the dogman. And um you believed that it was there to to basically the demonic entity to get it taken away to protect you at that time because you were so young. Um, and you think it was um, uh, because you had a lot of negative energy going on within the household um, that uh, it attracted. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, yes. Okay, I'm sorry for that, my friend. I'm sorry for that. Um, okay. Yeah, I think right. you're attracted by negativity. Okay. Okay. All right then. Have you? Okay. What was All the right. next thing that happened? Because I was very young. You were four years old. Very very young. What was the next thing? How old were you when the next thing happened? Yeah. The next experience. It was not a sighting. It was experience. We didn't see anything. It was. Uh, I was uh, twelve. Mm -hmm. I around 12 years old. Okay. Me and my father went for a hike. Uh, we went to see uh, the source of a river, a river Kupa. 
here in the like it's not so hard but uh, we got a little lot <laughs> and okay. uh, we ended up in uh, the middle of the woods and and uh, we were walking and after some time we found uh, a dead mole uh, that animal that digs in the, the, the ground, a yeah. dead mole in the middle of the road, but it was in pristine condition. It was uh, very strange in the middle of the woods to find a dead animal in the middle of the road, untouched. Like it, it looked like somebody put it there. So now thinking back to it, maybe it was a warning or maybe some kind of help because we were lost but maybe it was both and uh, sometime after that we found a, a big wolf print in the mud back. but uh, we didn't go back on the road we because the river was and followed the river back to the source times to rest and my father told me that something is following it and I did it two or three times and the last times we stopped there was a, a piece of trash in the middle of the woods and when we went on I picked it up and took the following stopped and soon after that we we found the source the source of the river and uh, that was it okay we didn't get all of that but you found the mole dead but the mole was in mm -hmm. pristine condition mm -hmm. What was it you found afterwards? Your what father found uh, wolf print in the mud. A wolf print in the mud. Yeah, big big wolf print. Yes. Okay. Do you know what wolf print looks like normally? Uh, like a dog. Yeah. Okay. okay. But this dog. was bigger than normal. This was bigger than a normal wolf print, or the same? Wolf print or the same? Uh, look, it, it was big. I I don't know what what uh, a normal wolf print looks, but, mm. but uh, okay. I know what what dog prints look. And uh, this this was I have two big dog uh, Belgian one. It was double the size. Oh right, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Um, uh, did you did you? Your father, what, did he seem um, worried what that something he, was following him? Uh, what something was? Uh, yeah, he seemed a little worried, uh, but I was, I was, I didn't feel, feel fear or, or dread. I, I actually, I, I felt great. Okay. I felt. Uh, in tune with with nature and uh, that that place is is very very beautiful place uh, magically bl beautiful place and uh, in that time i was reading uh, books uh, about indians north america and indians and and stuff like that uh -huh. and i was feeling very uh, very connected to nature and and uh, i don't know i i have a little theory about this too maybe Maybe this entity that, that was following us, maybe uh, in some way it guided us to to the place where the trash was. Maybe that was that was his plan, maybe, to, to pick it up and, and carry it okay. out of there. What can but I ask what trash it my was? Crazy can, I, can I can I ask what trash it was? I can't remember I, I think it was a bottle. Okay. But I'm not 100% sure. Okay. 
Okay. I think, I think it was a plastic bottle. And after after this, you didn't hear anything following you. After you picked the bottle up, you didn't hear anything. No, I I, I never heard anything. But uh, what? Okay, you froze up a bit. Hello. Hello, yeah, you froze up a bit, that's all. That's fine. Could be... Hello, could Phil. Be Hi, yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I'll tell you what, try it. You know the yeah. camera? If I... Uh, okay, yeah? Yeah, maybe if you turn the, your camera off and see if that improves the, the audio. Yeah? And see if that Okay. Yeah. Right. Let's yeah. see if that improves. Okay. Um, better, maybe. 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 So, um, do uh, so basically, you had something. Your dad said there was something following you. You got lost in the woods, and you came across, uh, and this thing following. How, yeah. how do, do you know what it sounded like to you but or your I dad? Ne I never heard no, because I I didn't hear it. He heard it and and asked me, Did, "Can you not hear this?" And I said, "No, I only hear the river." And uh, I tried to look around to see if maybe I can see something, but nothing. But also mm -hmm. I heard uh, stories that sometimes some uh, uh, when people are together one people here and the other other doesn't yeah. i can uh, i can explain how they did how they do this but they obviously yeah. can yeah no i've heard that yeah. as well i've heard that okay all right okay what else, what, what how old were you when you had your next experience? What, 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 what other experience have you had in the woods? Uh, the next experience was uh, in Andorra. Me and my father went on a road trip uh, with mm. the car and we slept in the car all the time. And we went across Italy, across the French uh, coast, and we went. We ended up in Andorra, and this happened uh, uh, a day before my 14th birthday. So uh -huh. we we stopped somewhere in the middle of the nowhere, in Andorra, surrounded by hills, and we went to sleep. And uh, in the middle of the night, uh, sh our car was shaking. And we woke up, and uh, it was a horse. A horse was shaking our car with his body, with its body. Mm. And now, thinking back, this horse uh, probably was trying to uh, to warn us, mm. or uh, wanting uh, to wanted help from us, or maybe both. And we both woke up, and my father tried to start the car. But as soon as the car uh, started, it died. And then he tried again and again and again, but nothing. The, the car wouldn't start. So I told to my father, OK, we will deal with this tomorrow. Let's go back to sleep. And I did go back to sleep, but uh, he didn't sleep uh, anymore. And in a moment, uh, in the night, I woke up and I remember he was outside. And uh, I turned around again to sleep, and he he entered uh, he entered the car, and he was uh, he was uh, shaken up. He was uh, visibly shaken up, but he didn't say anything, and I didn't ask any anything. Uh, and in the, the next morning, 
I woke up, he was already outside looking at something across uh, on the other hill. And I, I came up to him and immediately, immediately he told me that he saw something uh, last night on the, on the hill across ours. And uh, I asked him, what, what did you see? And he said, some kind of big animal. And uh, it looked like it had horns. And uh, OK, so I told to him, OK, goat, uh, deer, bull. But he said, no, no, no. And, and I asked him, OK, what, what did it look like to you? And he said, werewolf. And uh, then I said to him, we have to get out of here. But the car, the car did, uh, didn't want to start. And then a miracle happened. A man was jogging on the road. And we asked him for help. And sure enough, he, he knew how to start our car. And he told us that we need a new battery. And that there, there is a service station um, some kilometers ahead. And uh, so we did that. We changed the battery and we, we drove. Uh, my father drove almost all day and, and all day and almost all night. We all the way back to Monaco. He, he was uh, he was afraid and we talked in the car and uh, I told him. So now you, you saw you saw with it. With, 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 with your own eyes. And I remembered him uh, of our experience in the, in the woods two years before. And, uh, and I told him maybe that was a werewolf too. But uh, mm. that was the last time we, sp we spoke about it. He, he didn't want to speak about it. Okay. Well. Wow. I really scared him. That really, that must have scared him. I really scared him. He was, uh, he was scared. Yes, he didn't, he didn't want to go back uh, with, with the road. Uh, he he found another way to go back to France. He didn't want to go back on the road. And I remember the man that helped us. Mm -hmm. He told us. He looked at us strangely and told us it's not good to be here in the night so this man knew something interesting 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 yeah and i remember one more thing but the the previous experience in the woods yeah. i remember that uh, one uh, forest worker, uh, a local there, uh, told us that there are stories of werewolves around the source, the source of the river. He thinks that these people maybe drank too much and then see a bear or something and think it's, it's a werewolf. But uh, I think differently. Mm. Yeah. yeah. There's um in uh, places like uh, Latvia, um, mm -hmm. Romania, uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, they uh, still uh, hang um, protection out um, uh, on certain times, like uh, Beltane. Um, on the night of Beltane, the last night of April, they still hang talismans on the outside of their homes to keep away things like werewolves mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and witches as well. But here on the Balkans, there are stories of werewolves from always. Yeah. Vampires, werewolves, witches, all sorts of things. Also, if I'm not mistaken, in in Croatia, isn't there an extensive amount of caves in the Croatia? Yes, yes, very much caves, yes. See, I believe they live in caves. I believe they use caves to, to travel. 
Most likely, yes. Most likely. Yeah. Do you think it was um? You know, when you did, did you ask did, did, your dad at the time? Uh, was it? It sounds stupid, but was it wearing uh, clothes or was it actually like fur all over? Was it like the old TV programs where you see a werewolf uh, and it's got jeans and t-shirt on and a wolf's head? He, he didn't mention that. He didn't say anything about clothes. Uh, he said that it looked like has horns, but this was probably pointy ears, and it was big, but it walked on four legs. But he told that uh, it looked like a werewolf, and uh, uh, I I I can't remember what I wanted to say. I walked on four legs. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it, it it because I know I asked him it, it was was it walking on two legs or four legs? He he said four legs. He didn't walk on two legs. But uh, I have a, a theory uh, about this too, because uh, my dad was my abuser, and uh, I don't believe in coincidences. And uh, I think that there is a reason because I didn't see it that night, and he did. Maybe this this was uh, some kind of message for him to keep him uh, in line in some in some way. I think probably, because, probably yeah. because if if that creature wanted to hurt us, we were there on a plate for him. The mm. car was no no protection. No. no. No, and the, and the car died. We couldn't get away from there. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. Definitely. I think you you would be sitting what they call sitting ducks. You would be ready. Ducks. Sitting ducks. Yeah. Yeah. Ready for basically sitting ducks before they get you know uh, shot, you know, uh, or, yeah. or, or or taken. Um. I. Uh, yes, please. Interesting about the horse, though. The horse, like, warning you, rubbing it, is something quite unusual for a horse to do, isn't it? Doing that? Yeah. Yeah. And now, thinking back, the horse must have felt the presence of the creature and tried to mm. warn us or, or try to, uh, to get help. Because you work with horses, is that something is which that is something usual? A horse will do that usually, or not? Mm, this is a very. This was a very strange situation, but uh, I don't know. The, the horse usually runs away. Mm. Yeah, it, it, it is strange behavior for a horse. Yes, to shake our car. He was trying to wake us up. Yeah, he was trying yeah. to warn us. Very odd, very strange indeed. Yeah, yeah. Okay, right. Um, <laughs> you've had some. You've had some experiences, my friend. Bizarre experiences. Yes. yes. Bizarre. Bizarre. Um, I think you probably are right, though. I think uh, the dog the man. Dog um, isn't it's just some just vicious creature which just uh, is predatory and means um, harm to everyone. I think it does sense and come to people that need help. I'm sure it does. I've heard this before, you know. I believe this too, yes. Because mm. if it wanted to hurt us, it, it could. And and two years before in the woods also nobody would know we would just we would just disappear yeah so yeah. they they choose not to do this they but i believe i believe they are not animals i believe they are on the, on the spiritual level i believe they are like us like uh, people wolf people 
Okay. Do you think they change into people? Or no, no, people no, 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 no. I, I don't say that this is not possible with some kind of black magic or something. Hmm. Uh, but uh, I believe the dogmen are dogmen and they are born this way, they die this way. But uh, they have abilities, strange abilities. Uh, I, I don't know how. They are interdimensional, maybe, or something like that. But uh, but maybe yeah. maybe we had that these abilities too, but we we forgot. Maybe. Yeah, I think um, I think the ability for telepathy we all have that. Um, yeah. A lot of times uh, I've heard of because you spoke you spoke uh, Nic Nicola you spoke of um, uh, at the window you sensed it was talking to you or saying something to you probably probably but, uh, why would I say I can't come outside mm. because I heard I heard stories that they try to 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 lure children outside I don't know why but. <laughs> I heard yeah. stories about yeah. it. And that's what you heard it say. You heard it say, or, 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 or more to the point, you your reaction was, I can't come outside, um, I'm not allowed. Yeah, yeah, it's too cold, I, I, will, I will get sick. Okay. How funny. Does your brother talk Did about brother it talk very much? No, but uh, I remember he was uh, trying to draw pictures of the creature, uh, according to my memories. And then uh, he told me, he, this looks like a werewolf. But uh, he was afraid, I think. But then when we were back home, uh, he, he was maybe a little braver. But uh, he came up with the story that it was probably a big dog. Because I told them what I what I saw, mm. and he he told uh, it's probably a big dog wanted to come in because it was cold. But I I believe it was dogman. Damn. Yeah. Well, I mean, amber amber eyes and eyes that seem to be glowing or not glowing. Not glowing. No, they were not glowing. Okay, but they were yellow, they were amber. amber, yellowish, yes, bright yellow. Okay, right, and the teeth were quite. Uh, I've often wondered, I meant to, uh, were the teeth out, you know, like a crocodile, the difference between a crocodile and an alligator? A crocodile's teeth are on the outside of its mouth, an alligator's teeth on the inside of its mouth. The dogman you saw, did it have its teeth sort of hanging out over the side of its mouth? Do you remember? I'm sorry, I can't tell you that, but I only remember that it, it had sharp teeth and, and they were showing. And they were showing? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, then. All right, that's fine. Interesting. Okay. Right. Have we got... Have, uh, when was the next episode you had? Uh, the last experience uh, was uh, two months after uh, the when my father in Andorra saw it. I went on a hike, uh, an organized hike uh, on a mountain here in my in my county, and uh, the second night we were sleeping in a small village at the foothills of this mountain and uh, i want to be honest we all got drunk mm. and uh, i threw up where we were supposed to sleep and my friends got un angry and uh, sent me to sleep in an old barn in uh, on the other side of the village uh, but there were also other people sleeping in in that barn and but me being uh, drunk and disoriented and it was dark and i missed the barn and uh, i was i got i got lost in the dark and i simply stumbled up upon it uh, it was right in front of me 
uh, maybe three or four meters. It was it was dark, but it was still a village. There was some light coming from from somewhere, and uh, his head was at my eye level, and it looked like a giant wolf, a, a big wolf, and its head was at my eye level, but it would it looked like it was uh, crouching or sitting and uh, i remember i told to it because i i was feeling sick and and uh, just wanted to get some rest and i i told to it you're the last thing i needed but then in the second moment i realized the 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 situation and i bowed my head and told please don't kill me and I don't know for how long I was standing like that. And I remember uh, that I was I wanted to look back up to see if, if the wolf is, is still there, but I couldn't. My my body just wouldn't listen. So I, I kept looking at my feet and uh, waiting for it to do something. It never made a sound. And after some time, I don't know for how long I, I stood there, somebody was looking for me. But this person, when, when uh, this person saw me, he didn't want to come near because uh, he also saw that something is there. And he shouted, uh, what are you doing over there? Come over here. You need to come here. There's something there with you. Come here. And that, that's when I, I snapped out of it. And without looking, I, I went direct to the person and he took me to the barn. And he was saying something like uh, a bear was there, a bear was, was going to eat you or something like that. Okay, uh, where, where was this again? At the foothills of uh, Mount Uchka in Croatia. Okay, that's interesting that you you bowed your head to it. Yes, yes, uh, because uh, the first phrase I, I said, it was a little bit, uh, how do you say, uh, uh, I was a little bit full of myself, uh, myself like, like you are the last thing I needed, but then I, I realized this creature can, can kill me, and so I I, I bowed my head and uh, mm. say, so you kind of you, you so from being yeah I, I know what you mean from so being from drunk being, yeah, and and uh, kind drunk, of um, but, if it was but, a, uh, a a normal person there you'd be like oh really for goodness sake what are you doing why are you here but you sobered up yes, very so quickly it sounds like quickly. you sobered up very quickly when you saw what it was. Yeah, yeah. I've heard this before, you know. I've heard that um, uh, the thing to do is to show reverence to it. If you if you try and face it off and and try and be bigger than it in a way. If you try and um, what's the word? If you try and um, uh, outmatch it. It will not like that. It will attack probably. But if you show reverence to it, if you uh, revere it, put your head down and bow, it, it's showing the dog man that um, it's in control. You're below it and you're more, um, you, you, you're showing humility towards it. I've, I've heard this. Yeah, to show respect and 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 be sub submissive. Mm, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. the word. Yeah, yeah, submissive. Yeah. Blimey! Wow. Okay. Um. Okay. Right. What I'm going to do, Nicola? Uh, I'm going to. It's coming up to nearly an hour. Um. 
Is there anything at all that you wish to share else, which is um, uh, uh, maybe uh, if you want to, uh, if you've got a, a, a channel or you've got um, uh, anything to promote? No, no, really not. Nothing. Okay. Okay. But there is there is uh, one more story. It's a short story. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is this happened uh, uh, after the last experience. I don't know several months after. It was in my town. But this experience, I never forgot about this. All the other experiences, I forgot. But this one, uh, no. And this was I was going. Uh, on a party in the forest park he, here in my town mm -hmm. and I was alone. In, it, it was uh, in the middle of the night and I was walking uh, in the woods but on a gravel road and it, suddenly I hear a baby cry in the woods and I froze. I froze in my in my steps and I couldn't move. And I remember tears coming to, to my eye. I wasn't crying, but, but my eyes tear, teared up. And I, I felt fear. And uh, I was standing like that for 10, 15 minutes, maybe. Maybe more. And, and this sound wouldn't stop. And in the end, it changed to something uh, animalistic, like an animal. It was clear then to me that this, this is not a baby. This is some kind of animal. And then I, 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 then I snap out of it and uh, continue to walk. And the, the sound continued, but it faded away because I, I was going away. When it sounded like an animal, did it? Did it? What do you mean by that? From a baby cry, it uh, changed to. It was clearly an animal, but. I couldn't tell you what kind of animal, but but for the first ten on, or fifteen minutes, it was a baby crying. It sounded like a baby crying in the middle of the woods, and it it wasn't going away or coming more more close to me. It was uh, static, but it was uh, it was going on for all the time I was standing there, and 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 more. We, I was going away. I could hear it fading away in the distance. So th this can be related to the dogman, maybe yes, maybe not. I'm, I can't be sure, but I think it's also interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. You know, I, I, I uh, heard um, the same type of noise um, when I was uh, in back garden I was in this back garden and sometimes you get cats uh, which are on heat and they they uh, they want to mate and they will make a sound like babies crying mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sometimes you get foxes that make the same kind of sound a yowling kind of high pitch sort of like a yowling like a crying sound with foxes um but the crying I heard, the baby crying, was not at all like a fox or a cat. It was a distinctive baby's cry, like you heard, I think. You know. Yeah, I, I too, I too heard like it. It was like a baby because around my house I have lots of cats, and then when they are in heat, I know the sound. What you mean? Mm. But the sound in the woods sounded exactly like a baby. And but I heard stories that the dogman can do a baby cry and woman woman scream. Maybe to what? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, they yeah. can. They can do the the, the women. The, the woman's scream uh, is quite common. It's quite a common mm -hmm. thing, and uh, it's almost as if they're luring. They're they're luring you into the woods with that. Yeah, yeah. I heard that. Um, it's very it's very disturbing. 
It's very disturbing. You hear it, yeah. Um, you kind of like you don't you can't you can't describe the sound to anyone. It is it is it, it's a, it's uh, it's quite a haunting sound. The baby crying. Yeah. It's, it's a haunting yeah. sound. Um, do you, do you go out looking for dogmen now? Uh, I was uh, a month and a half ago. I went back uh, to the foothills of the mountain when I where I had my second uh, sighting, but uh, I, I it was the wrong village uh, because there are two villages with a similar name, and mm. now after the season, after the touristic season, I plan to go to the to the right village. Because I asked a friend what was the village, and he told me, "Oh, this okay." So I intend to go back and hoping that maybe some uh, memory come back more. Yeah, yeah. And but I I don't uh, uh, from from where when I start to listen to to dogman uh, encounters and and sightings and when I remember because listening to the to the programs and podcasts uh, triggered my memory and uh, I don't enjoy very much walking at night anymore and uh, standing in front of the window at night I I feel uh, un uncomfortable okay yeah understandable that's understandable I think I'd, I'd feel uncomfortable as well, especially after seeing the demon, that, that Krampus type. Creature. That Krampus uh, actually scares me more than, than the dogman. I'm not surprised. Yeah. I'm not at all surprised. I think it, it would me as well, seeing something like that. I've just uh, Googled, you know, Googled Krampus, and the images it's brought up are horrendous, really horrible, horrible. Yeah, he, he's a horrible thing, horrible piece of work, yes. Yeah, and it is very much a, a goat, a, a half man, half goat creature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe, maybe if you have a little look online um, and see a picture which uh, best suits what you saw, would, would you do me a favour and send that picture to me? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, um, but, uh, it was only a silhouette. But, yeah, uh, no, that's fine, that's fine. Um, it's only just so that... Uh, I can choose a picture, that's fine, but if you choose one that you can remember it looking most like in silhouette, mm -hmm, then mm -hmm. that would have more weight to it. That would have more power to okay. it. You know? I will, uh, after we finish... Uh, yeah, that's fine. That would be great, would, if you don't mind. Yes. Um, and one more thing I forgot to tell you. Uh, next year, yeah. next thing, I, I'm planning to go back to the source of the river, but uh, it's for now it's 50 50. If I'm brave enough, I will go back there. To I don't know why. I, I, I feel something is, is like pulling me there to, to go back. Is that, know, uh, is that where you saw the uh, bottle, where you saw the trash? The bottle, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Okay. Why why do you want to go back there? Why do you think you want to go back there? Uh I don't know. I I can't tell you that. I don't know. Maybe I I'm hoping for uh, to see something or or some kind of communication. I don't know. Do you ever see when you go when you do go out, do you ever see in the daylight? daytime do you ever see any structures in the forest anything like um x's big x's which look a bit strange made out of this trees. is the problem here around uh, in my local area there are not there are no real forests here okay it's all uh, small woods and and no no running water and real forests begin uh, 50 or 60 kilometers from me. 
So around around my area, I I don't believe they are here. Okay, okay, okay. So it's quite a long way away. It's 50, 60 50, kilometers 60. is a long way. Yeah, yeah. But maybe for them, it's not so much. If they want to find you, they can. Yeah, well, that's the yeah. thing. They do, don't they? They do. And I, I think you're, you're I, I, I don't want to scare you, but I do think you're, you're uh, tagged. I think you're tagged by them. I believe that too. I believe that too. And uh, I, I think that they, in some way, like you, like you said, uh, they, they choose some people. I don't know according to what uh, to protect them or to guide them or to communicate with them or they choose some other kind of people to scare them or to put them in line or to I don't know mm. yeah but I don't yeah. see them as evil killing machines I, I don't think they are more evil than people humans we have so much uh, murderers pedophiles rapists we are not all evil because of them, you know. I agree. I agree. I, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. they got a bad. They got a bad rap. You know, they got a bad got reputation. Bad. Um, only because we're always scared of the unknown. We don't know we don't anything know. unknown to us, and we're frightened of. Yeah, we fear what we don't understand. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. So right. I want to understand more maybe that's why i want to go back i don't know yeah it would be good if you could go back uh with someone else as well you know but that's I the thing I, I don't and I, I think that i should go alone because I, I would feel happier if you went with somebody really you know but what if they don't like the other person yeah yeah, that's that's another thing. If they don't like the other person, yeah, yeah, he could <laughs> he could be asking for trouble. Yeah, yeah, and, that's, and, that's and I I don't want to to try to take photos. I I feel that uh, that they don't like that, and uh, I just want to go there and uh, I don't know. I will ask for permission. Uh, before I entered the forest and uh, I just want to communicate that I know that they exist and that I respect them and basically this is all and maybe leave two apples or, or something yeah yeah no I think that's, no. A, I think that's a good idea um, you know and uh, that's key I think you know is these things have been around long before we ever turned up. Um, and mm -hmm. we have to, you don't know exactly, you probably saved your life by bowing your head and showing um, humility. And uh, that is the uh, key. Yeah, I, I think wanted to tell in, you. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Go on. Go on. Uh, yeah, I wanted to tell you. Maybe I, I think this dogman also helped me. Because I was, I was lost in the dark and at the foothills of a mountain. Maybe continuing uh, on my way would get me hurt, or maybe some other animal would would uh, hurt me. Maybe he he was there just to stop me, just yeah. Uh, yeah. in a way to 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 not to go any further. Yeah. yeah yeah there's i think that i think there is always a reason there is always a reason was it you said it was by a barn was it by a barn you said it was by? Oh, barn barn uh, uh barn where the where they keep the hay for the horses was it in the barn or did it come out from the barn or did it come from around the corner or no i i don't know i don't know i i will I didn't look uh, around very much. It, all of the sudden, it was in front of me. I can't remember if it probably it, it came around some corner or, or, or out of somewhere, maybe from uh, 
okay. around the house. Was, was, was that on all was fours again? It was looking, it looked like he is crouching. It was not moving because uh, when I when I saw it, it was uh, standing, but it was like uh, crouching or sitting position. But his head was at, at my head level. So if, if it stood up, it, it would be, I don't know, very big. Very big, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you... Um... Uh, it's a big ask asking you this, but did it? Um, its face. Do you have a good? Did you ever look at its eyes? Were they the same color as the eyes you saw before at the window? O also yellowish, but more darker yellow. The first one was more brighter yellow. This was more more uh, more uh, uh, yellow orange, like amber, like you say. Yeah, and the yeah. first one was uh, more uh, bright yellow, yeah, like uh, towards uh, towards uh, white, white yellow, and this was more more darker yellow. It was a difference in in uh, in uh, how do you say nianza? Yeah, different. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Is there a history in Croatia of um, f maybe folklore surrounding these documents. Uh, there are there are stories of werewolves from from always, but there is a problem also because uh, back in the times, the people were I don't want to offend, but they were a little bit primitive, and they they put everything in the same uh, box. Everything mm. was werewolf. Vampire, witch, uh, magician, uh, werewolf, everything was werewolf. So if somebody saw something, you, you can't be sure what it really was. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Have you, um, Have you uh, had a little look to see if um, there was anything? Has there been anything written? Uh, in the history of in, in Croatia, and I think documented. Uh, I was looking a little bit. There is a story here on in my county on on the peninsula where I live. Uh, there is a story of a vampire about three hundred years ago, but there is also a story of a werewolf from about three hundred years ago. And supposedly this werewolf lived in a cave some, somewhere in, in central Istria. Istria is the county where I live. Uh -huh. And uh, uh -huh. it said that it was eating uh, farm animals, but also people. So okay. this was a okay. one. And did they hunt it? I don't know. I, I didn't find the uh, information of, of this sort. I think uh, it just stopped. In in a moment, it just stopped. Maybe it went away on on his way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But there is an interesting story from two thousand and six. It's it's uh, twenty years ago, all, almost eighteen years ago, in the town of Šibenik. It's in Dalmatia. It's more south in Croatia, also on the coastline. And uh, in 2006, there were uh, multiple sightings of in the city, in in the in a neighborhood of, of the city of Šibenik. And uh, it was on the news, and people said that they they saw this uh, creature that looked like a werewolf. One guy said that he was closing the bar and wanted to go home and then he saw this thing and he went back to the bar and closed the door and, and hid somewhere and another he hid behind the dumpster and waited till morning 
and uh, but the interesting thing is i i did more re it comes every 20 years it it's it said like that every 20 years so what it, it said in it, two years ah. it, it sh should appear again so I, i'm waiting to what, it, 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 the, so yeah okay yes. so and that's what the beast said that's what that 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 werewolf Hello? said that's what the werewolf said was it it will be back in 20 years no 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 the 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 information says that the the story that there are sightings uh, every 20 years in this town Okay, okay, got you. Right. Interesting. Oh, that'd be so cool to go back in two years' time. To go there. Okay, got you. Right. Interesting. Yeah, but now in two years, uh, it should appear again. So I I'm waiting to, to see if it, uh, it will happen yeah are you going to go back to the same place then you're going to go to if where the story is correct or, or yeah the appearing every 20 years. Yeah. yeah a lot of people say that um i've heard that with dog man a lot no, of people i'm say not that. going there <laughs> no no <laughs> a lot of people say you know that dog man <laughs> appears every year there's a seven it ends in seven so 19 2007 1997 uh, the next one 2027 every seven years or, or not every seven years every year there's a seven ending in the seven it appears interesting but this is with six yeah yeah but this because, is every 20 years it's mm, strange very strange it is did you growing up did you ever hear the stories about um uh because uh, uh in croatia as well if i'm correct there's a a, a witch called baba yaga um who has a house on uh, walks on uh, legs baba yaga baba yaga yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. You've heard of this? Something. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's familiar, yes, but I don't know any any detail. But I know of the house with legs, yes. I saw the pictures yeah. somewhere, I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's um, uh, very, um, it's... Uh, okay, more, yeah. more story. See, I sometimes wonder if Dogman is is maybe uh, or werewolves, maybe uh, in, if it has uh, something to do with because of the years when it appears, if it has something to do with uh, 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 witchcraft or black magic. Because of the years when it appears, if it has something to do with uh, witchcraft or black magic. Yeah, that, that's. Uh, I think that too, because this is. This is strange for a for a natural creature to appear in, in some kind of of cycles of, of periods, and mm. so maybe it is connected to some witchcraft. Yes. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Does it worry you still? Does it? Um, yeah. yeah. Do you do you do you get worried about? I know you get worried about windows, looking at windows, and I don't yeah, blame do you, you about do windows. You get but does does it worry you about um uh the um demon that you saw that that could be still out there the, uh, the, that could be still out there. uh Maybe a little bit, but I had uh, some strange experiences with uh, 
with uh, I don't know I can call it a ghost or or something some in invisible entity that was visiting me during the night I had the experiences with with this and they were uh, they were um, um, unpleasant was it a shadow being do, do you want me to talk about it? I would love to hear about no, it. Was it, no. was it a shadow uh, being? Do you want to hear the stories? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, I'd love to hear about the stories. Yeah. No. I wouldn't call it a shadow uh, entity because I, I don't know what to call it, but uh, this this happened in the period of uh, between 2007 and, and 2010 it was in this period but in this period i was uh, uh, i developed a drinking problem very early in in uh, in my teenage years because of the abuse and uh, i'm sober for three years three years now but in the, in that period i was at my lowest point i was uh, I was a mess and uh, mm -hmm. I started to have uh, really, really uh, vivid and uh, realistic nightmares. And first two times the nightmare was that some kind of devil of demonic entity, uh, it was uh, hideous, wanted to rape me. And in the moment that it, it wanted to penetrate me, I wake up because of the shock. And this happened two times. Uh, after that, uh, I had nightmare about uh, a witch, uh, evil woman, and she wanted to uh, to push her finger in my ear. And when when she started to do this, I would wake up from the shock. And this happened for two times also. And then the third time, I have a dream uh, of. Uh, insect wanted to enter in my ear and when it started to entering i would wake up from the shock and it was so real that i was looking under the pillow for for the insect but there was nothing there and then the last time it was uh, like uh, like sleep paralysis i i was uh, i was in that state uh, when you are not anymore awake but you are not still uh, full asleep in that state in between and I felt hands they were touching me and they started from my feet and they went up touching my legs my hips my torso and when they reached my neck they 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 started to choke me and then I wake, woke up from the shock and I was uh, I had uh, my hair was standing from my from my toes to i felt my hair standing up i was i was terrified mm. but then and i look I, I was looking under the bed and in, in the closet but mm. there was nothing there and then it, it hit me i realized uh this whatever it is it's feeding on my fear and uh, i sat on the bed and i told to it okay you are here if you have a message for me Please, uh, please deliver it. But I won't feed you anymore. And I don't know how I did it, but I stopped be I stopped being afraid. And the thing stopped. Uh, it it didn't come anymore. I felt the presence several more times, but nothing uh, nothing serious. And basically, this is it. Yeah. Do you know? Uh I absolutely admire you for 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 um, everything you've been through. And thank you. Uh, giving giving up is a hard thing to give up drinking. It is a hard thing to give up. Uh, I heard it's one of the hardest things. Yeah. Because um, uh, it, it turns so easily into a routine of one, you know, of your life. Um, uh, yeah. You know, it wasn't that long ago. It was a few years ago now. 
but uh, I was in the same same position of uh, 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 yeah. drinking. Yeah. Um, now uh, I too, you know, um, uh, I I haven't had a drink for. Oh, let me have a look. Um, it's got to be. It's got to be about five years now. Um, got to be about five years that I, I gave up bad. completely because it, mm -hmm. I've, it, it, um, just it didn't suit me anymore. It, 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 it was, it, it was the, a thing which didn't help me, and it also uh, wasn't good because um, it dulled it dulled my senses when i gave up i stopped getting so much negativity um, from the point of view of these beings and the paranormal when i was drinking i used to get a lot of negative energy mm -hmm. come through. but when i gave up um, i started getting a lot more positive positive entities i still had entities i still had uh uh um uh ghosts and paranormal stuff happen and dog men but i felt more in control and i felt more um at peace with it i felt like i could cope with it um but it takes a lot and i admire you for doing this i really do mm -hmm. um and mm -hmm. your honesty thank you very much for your honesty Thank you, but you also, you you too. It's uh, it's Thank hard you. thing to to stop. Uh, I was hard drinker for eighteen years. Mm. Uh, I was drinking myself to to oblivion. I was I I I couldn't. I I wouldn't stop. I would when I would start drinking, I would drink for three days, and it was. Now thinking back, it was horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it is, and uh, it's a horrible thing because the more you drink, the more you need. Your body gets used yeah. to it. So when I think back to what I drunk and the quantity, I think, how on earth am I still living? Yeah. I should be dead. Yeah, 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 me too. <laughs> it's incredible sometimes, yes. You know, you... But, but I have a but, little... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It says it's mad. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I can hear you. Hello? Okay. Hello? Yes, I have yeah. uh, interesting little information. Okay. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, I have interesting yeah. information. Uh, the first day without alcohol, I, because I, I wasn't planning on, on stop drinking. I, uh -huh. never, I never had that in my mind, I will stop drinking. It just happened, like, like a switch in my uh -huh. head. But the interesting is the day that I got my first uh, wolf, werewolf tattoo. Because I, I like tattoos, and I have uh, many tattoos. Mm. And the first day uh, with alcohol is the day I got my mm. first uh, werewolf tattoo. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you uh, uh, did you get your tattoo first, and then you gave up drink? Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you? No, it's the same day. The same day. Ah, same day. I woke up that day. And I didn't drink anymore. And that day I got the tattoo. I, I already... Same day, same day. It's... I, it's, I don't believe in coincidences. I, I think it, it has a meaning. No, I agree with you. There is no such thing as coincidences. And I think 
everything is guided. It's written down from the day we're born to the day we die. It's written down. We think we have choices in life. We got choice at the crossroads of going left or going right. We don't have really a choice. We take the we left or we take the right. But it's actually um, it's chosen for us. It's just almost like um, uh, make believe that we made that choice. It's all everything is planned by something else. That's what I believe. Mm. I believe I believe in some kind of destiny, but I I think that we do have uh, the power of will. I think we do have a choice. I think that you have to put in an effort because. Uh, if everything would, uh, you could sit around all day and not doing nothing, and it would still happen. But I think you you must uh, you must show that you are worth. You must show that you want to. You must put in the effort. Yeah, yeah. No, that's right. Yeah, that's true. Everything. But I also believe if you mess up, you get a second chance. Yeah. I believe in. I believe that we live. Many yeah. Places. Yeah. That's true. Hmm. It would be very interesting to go in two years' time to where this uh, dog man werewolf is meant to appear again. It would be very interesting to go there. It's meant to appear again. It would be very interesting to go there. Yes. It's the, it's the Shibenik, town of Shibenik in Dalmatia. Okay, Shibenik. Would you not go? Would you not go? Uh, I I will I will no I I I'm I'm pretty sure I will go to to the source of the river. But uh, that's it. Ah, yeah, it's uh, Shubenik is by um, uh, Canal Luca. Canal Luca. Mandalena. Is it named Mandalena? Mm, I don't know. Very beautiful place. Looks very lovely. No, I don't. I don't know. It's on the. It's where the river Kirka. Yeah, Croatia. It's beautiful. Yeah, the river Kirka enters the sea uh, in Šibenik. Yeah. Oh, it's famous for the it's church. The park also. Very. very <laughs> the church. Dubny. We've got a cathedral of St. James is on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Several yeah, successive so. architects, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Very old place. Mm -hmm. Ah, might be quite interesting. Okay. Mm. Yeah, might be quite might be quite a might be quite a good trip. Yeah. yeah, I'll tell you what. Two I'll years time, I'll meet you there. <laughs> no, I don't want to get in trouble with that dogman. No, no. You, you go. I will wait for you here in Rovin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. Have you had any UFOs or orbs or light light orbs? Have you come across any li lights in the forest? I have. No, in the forest, no. But uh, I had a visit in front of my room on my balcony of something. And it was uh, a light, but it was uh, making a sound also. It was making a sound like... Uh, like a like 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 fire okay what did it look like what did it look like you still there nicola nicola hello hello you still there hey. Yes, my mic uh, shut off. I don't know why. Okay. okay. What did it what, what did it look like? It looked like uh, a signal flare. The color and the sound uh, was like a signal flare. Yeah, but, but could it, it have been, been a flare? Could it, could it have been a flare? It might have been a flare. No, oh, because it was in, in front of my uh, room. It was... Uh, Two meters from my head, a flare would burn something. There was no trace of burning, but I heard ah. the sound. I heard it. My dogs heard it too, but they didn't uh, seem uh, uh, bothered by that. And I was already in bed, but I saw the light and heard the sound. But, but the, uh, when I got up, it was already gone. It was, but I saw uh, f uh, like fading away. I saw it shut down, but it, it, it was a ball of light, a ball of fire, if yeah. you want. But there was no trace of burning at all, nothing, and no smell. What color was and it? What color? The door was open of the balcony, so if it would be fire, I, I would. Uh, probably be able to smell something or, the, or feel the temperature, but nothing. Just sound and light. Uh -huh. And this is strange to me. I, I can't comprehend what it was. Was it an orb? Like, was it round? I can't tell you that. It, it was very bright, but when I, I in the time when I get up and, and looked, it was already fading away. But uh, maybe maybe it was an orb, some kind of orb. I was I was thinking to myself that maybe this is some kind of uh, fire entity. I don't know. That gave me a visit. <laughs> Well, fire, fire entities would be um, things like uh, jinns, you know. Uh, jinns, or I, I read a book recently uh, from uh, Helena Blavatsky. Do you know her? Uh, Madame Blavatsky, yeah. Blavatsky, yes. Very interesting book about uh, elementals, elemental mm. spirits. Mm. And she divides them in earth spirits, uh, fire air and water spirits yeah so maybe something like that yeah yeah because um uh jinns are meant to be uh fire spirits who jinn uh d d uh i j j n jinn i know in this Islamic culture, yes, yes, I know. Yeah, in um, uh, Arabic, uh, very, very strongly believed in uh, Arabic countries, in um, uh, Saudi Arabia and um, yeah. Okay. yeah, places like that. They are very, uh, very prominent, very prominent. Funny enough, they have um, a, a cat's head. Until the dog man, they have like a cat's head. They look like cats with a human body. Cat people. Yeah. I heard about, yeah. I heard about cat people. And dogmen dog absolutely, absolutely hate them. They're, they're, they're like, if there's an enemy or nemesis, it's going to be a jinn to a dogman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're just not compatible. Don't like, don't like each other at all. 
Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. heard that dogmen can be pretty sadistic to cats. Yeah, what have you it heard about that? Uh, th th they like to throw them into walls and, and, and kill them and, and yeah. pretty much yeah. torture them and torment them. They do. Yeah. Yeah, they do with cats. They, they do torture them. Yeah. Yeah. But they I've are heard. canine, so it's not so strange for me. No, 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 me really, I suppose. No, 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 no yeah. exactly. Um, yeah. Um, and you've not seen any, any, any uh, uh, ghosts as such, other than what you've uh, spoken I about? Um, I never saw anything. I just... Uh, I just had the, those horrible nightmares, and uh, but the nightmares were so real, so vivid. And and that time that I felt like sleep paralysis and the hands touching me, but I had also positive uh, visits at night. After that, uh -huh. uh, years after, uh -huh. I became I I began to have positive visits, like. Uh, Somebody pulling like my leg or uh, poking me with the finger or uh, uh, stroking my back with the hand. And uh, one time uh, I remember I felt like a hand, a gentle touch on my back. It was not a violent touch. And I, I turned around and my dogs were, were with me in my room, but they were positioned to touch me. I would hear if they were moving, and one of my dogs were, was following something in the air with uh, with something, something in the room. Ah, there was something in your room. Yeah, she she saw she she was seeing that she was uh, following with uh, with her head and. Uh, Minute uh, seconds before that, I felt the touch on my back, and very strange. But I I didn't feel anything negative. It was like a positive, encouraging, encouraging, or or, or something like that. Ah, because uh, well, that, this yeah. I call it a friendly spirit. One time it helped me. I was falling asleep, and uh, something was. Uh, uh, I had something in my eyes. I don't know what. Maybe I touched the eyes with with dirty hands during the day, and and something, and my vision was becoming blurry. But I I was thinking, oh, I'm tired. I'm falling asleep. This is because of that. But and and this entity, uh, but this always happens when when I'm in the state in between. Uh, I'm not fully awake, but I'm not fully asleep. That's. You still there? Always. Nicola. And uh, and I said to myself, but it, it never was. It was always one or two times and, and leave me alone. But this time it was repeating, 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 repeating. And, and I, I said to myself, something is wrong. And when, when I got up, I, I realized that there is something with my eyes because I, I couldn't see clearly. And I went to wash my eyes in the bathroom with water, and then everything was fine. But it was like, like a mucus, like some, like a slime, in my eyes. And maybe, maybe if I went to sleep, maybe I, I would have problems in the morning. Maybe I could not open my eyes or, or or something. But so I think that time this entity helped me. Strange. Yeah, very strange. But uh, in a way, positive. In a way, yeah, positive is positive. Yeah, more word. Okay. I I, I believe I have a, a guardian. Yeah, I think you do. I think you do. Um, uh, uh, and I think that um, definitely with uh, you should persevere. 
you should follow your always follow your gut instinct and i do believe that you are tagged by a dog man and i think it's a one single uh dog man that you're actually tagged by and i think it is protecting um and it's a guide almost like a guide for you um, um people say yeah, that I, you know uh, we, we have like um spirit familiars which just will say that you know there's spirit uh, uh animal familiars which um you know uh, they use to um uh, help them and uh they can send them out and uh, they can be their eyes and ears um in a way i think dogman chooses us as individuals and uh, for, for some reason maybe it's because of your past and the trouble you've had and um it wants to show you it wants to guide you i think i i believe that too i believe that too and uh, i think it's maybe connected to our past lives because i, I believe that we live many lives mm. maybe something i did in the past life or i don't know or maybe i believe that they can see our hearts uh, better than we ourselves can mm. and uh, so i think you you cannot lie to them i think that they, they know our, our hearts and mind yeah 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 definitely i think so i think i think that you are completely right i do think you're completely right i think they 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 know if we're genuine or not and yeah. They, 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 there's a certain, I've been into woods where I've seen, um, and being close and heard like a dog man or werewolf being, and I've gone walking out of the woods and I've met a dog walker and I've said to the dog walker, uh, have you seen anything in these woods? you know at all you know and, and a dog walker said no <laughs> a dog walker said no i've been in these woods 25 years phil and i haven't seen a thing mm -hmm. it depends on the person it depends they don't make themselves known to everybody it, yeah they, they, they... yeah i believe that too yeah yeah they choose they choose if you if 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 they want that you see them, you will see them. If they don't want that you see them, you won't. Yeah, I agree. I agree. No, definitely. Okay. Um, I'm going to, if it's okay with you, if you've got nothing else, if you've got nothing else at the moment, um, I'm going to wrap this show up. Okay. Okay. It's almost two hours. Yeah. Time, time yeah. flew. Yeah. I know. It's fun though. It's fun. It's yeah, been lovely yeah. talking to you. It's been really cool I'm talking to you. Nervous, but it was fun, yes. Yeah, I know. The internet was a bit... I mean, we may have to do it again. Uh, uh, it depends on how it comes out. Um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, but uh, we'll, we'll see. Okay, okay. I'll, 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 see. I'll go over it and see. But at the moment, what I'm going to do is... Uh, let's have a look. Um yeah let me have a look okay i'm gonna wrap it up for now and i want to say um thank you very much indeed for uh coming on and talking to me and sharing your stories as well you're welcome and thank you for having me on your show all right and hopefully we'll talk again yes yes why not okay thank you very much Nicola. take care my friend thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.